In today's episode, we are attempting the secret Iraq visa trick for overlanders. We leave our bike in Erbil and fly to Baghdad to collect a visa on arrival, then take a shared taxi back to Erbil, but things don't quite go as planned. Let's fly to Baghdad. <laughs> Tonight, we're going to get on a flight to Baghdad because we need to get a visa for Federal Iraq and flying is the only way that we can do it on arrival. Yeah, so because we entered Iraq from Turkey into Kurdistan, Iraq, we only have a visa for Kurdistan. Um, and the only, there's no official border to get a visa between Kurdistan and Federal Iraq. There are just checkpoints where they will see if you've got the right visa. So as Lucy explained, we have to fly to Baghdad now. So we will fly to Baghdad, we'll get our visa on arrival, we're going to sleep in the airport for three, maybe four hours if we're lucky, and then at 4am we're going to get a taxi all the way back to Erbil, yeah. where we can pick up our bike and then head towards Baghdad. Yeah, it's a bit of a visa. faff and it's a bit expensive with the flying and the double visas and all this stuff, but this method has been proven by quite a lot of overlanders, bikers um, already. So we know it works and it's the only way we can do it. Okay, I need to add a disclaimer in here because we've spoken to many travelers since we've done this and it turns out it doesn't have a 100% success rate. It's more like 50-50. So stay tuned and you'll find out a little bit more through this video. And actually we've done it a bit cheaper than we thought. Our flights were 50 quid each only. We're getting a taxi back instead of another flight. And we thought that we were going to stay in a hotel, but we're just going to stay, sleep on the airport floor instead. So not so bad. So not too bad, no. All right, let's go to Baghdad. Okay. <laughs> Time to leave Salman's house. A little bit late. Check-in starts in 10 minutes, and we've got 30 minute drive to the airport. Good start. <laughs> okay. Okay, thank you. <laughs> right, we just arrived at the outer area of the airport we've already had one check going in where we both had to get out we got searched and the car had sniffer dogs coming around it and no photography or videography which i think is going to be the case for this whole process. yes probably checkpoint number two done bags went through the scanner now bus to the next part. place <laughs> All checked in, 40 minutes until flight leaves. That was the first kind of sketch moment, going through passport control. He read that we came in by motorcycle and he immediately looked like there was a problem. I think it's at this checkpoint where other overlanders have been told they're not allowed to leave the country. You see, the problem is, when you bring your vehicle into Kurdistan, Iraq, you get a stamp in your passport that clearly shows you've brought a vehicle in. And by law, you're not supposed to then leave the country without your vehicle. So a few overlanders and bikers seem to have been stopped at the airport and prevented from boarding their flight. It worked for us, and it has worked for others since we did it, but it's definitely not a 100% success rate. But mm, after a bit of time, he stamped everything and through we go. It was okay. Yeah, it was okay. My heart went a little bit though, just a bit, <laughs> by the face that he made. <laughs> We made it to the gate just as it's opening. Perfect. Let's fly to Baghdad. We've landed in Baghdad. Less than an hour flight, super easy, super quick. Let's see if this next day is. Yeah. <laughs> so our main mission now is to find the visa office. And we need a SIM card. Because the SIM card that we bought in Kurdistan, we found out today, does not work in Federal Iraq. So we have no signal. Yay. We've got our visas for Federal Iraq. So there's a little visa office just before we go through passport control. We filled out a one-page form and then waited about 15 minutes. Paid $77 each. Boom. Visa Easy. for Iraq. 
All right, it's quarter past 11. We've got to spend the next four and a half hours in the lobby of this airport, try and get some sleep. And then we've got to catch a taxi into the center of Baghdad where we're going to meet Samad's friend who's going to take us back to Erbil. Yeah, and then it's like four or five hour drive back to Erbil. Should get there by hopefully nine, maybe, maybe ten. Maybe ten. Bit more sleep and then we get to ride our bike back here to Baghdad. Yay. Now it's time to wander around, chill out, maybe get some sleep. See ya. Okay, quick update. Um, all the shops here are closed, so we've not been able to buy any SIM card for Federal Iraq, meaning as soon as we leave the airport, we have no phone signal, so we can't call anyone and we can't go on the internet. And we're both feeling like it's probably not a good idea to go off in a taxi into the city centre of Baghdad without any phone connection. We just don't want to put ourselves in any unnecessary risky situations. Whether it's Baghdad or any other city, I think driving off into the centre at 4am in the morning with no phone signal uh, is not, not ideal. Let's see what we can figure out. We are now in a taxi from Baghdad Airport going to the place to meet this guy who's going to take us to Erbil. No, we do not have phone signal, but we are doing this after speaking with the head of security at the departures lounge at the airport. He called the guy who was the meeting, then he arranged a taxi to come to the airport and then gave the number of the guy we're meeting to the taxi driver who's taking us there so they're all connected and they can all communicate and he was quite happy and that this was safe to do. Sound reasonable? <laughs> Make any sense? And we're going to a shared taxi. Yeah. So there's other people in this taxi and it's quite, oh, it's quite common to meet at this place mm -hmm. um, and then a group of people go rather than paying $150 each. Yeah, so we're not just going to some random place in Baghdad where some random guy is going to take us to Erbil like we kind of thought it was. We're going to a proper taxi place where they arrange shared taxis. If we'd have known this, uh, maybe we would have been a bit more comfortable just going there at the time agreed, but yeah. So, okay. Here we are. And there we go. in the back. We made it. Absolute chaos here. Everyone here does these shared taxis wanting to take you to Erbil. So we arrived like 50 meters down the street and everyone was at the window of the taxi shouting But not until the in all the seats are filled in this shared taxi and we've only got four out of six Seven, I think. So we could be waiting a while. This was chaos. This whole street is just filled with these shared taxis trying to fill their, their car to take people to Erbil, to Salamania, to wherever. So chaos. But we're in the right taxi and yeah, we're here now. We've it's got three more out. seats to fill. <laughs> Well, we are finally back in Erbil, in the final taxi after being dropped off in Erbil. Oh, what a journey. How long? We left at like five and it's now half eleven, so what, six and a half hours in total? Oh. <laughs> uh, we are finally back at Samet's house. Feeling pretty tired though. Good. It was a long night, long yeah, day. Yeah, long night, long day. But. We have a visa! We have our visas, we're back in Erbil safely and we're ready to ride to Baghdad tomorrow. The whole process, yeah, it had its ups and downs and a few difficulties, but overall, it's fine, right? You go to yeah. Baghdad, you get your visa on arrival and you find a way back to Erbil. Yeah, that, that's that, it. That, the process is fine. 
that whole thing was absolutely fine, that bit. Yeah. It was just a couple of bits in between times. Getting yeah. some taxis, negotiating the price. We had like three different taxis today, but yeah, we, we got here. We did it's it. Done. We got our visa and we're ready to yeah, go. Yeah, it's done. So that's, that's what we wanted. Now we're just planning uh, where to stay in Baghdad and the next few days in Iraq. But yeah, we're looking forward to the, next, the next part of the trip now. Cool. Adventuring into South Iraq. All right, see you on the road. See ya. In the next episode, we wave goodbye to Samad and Erbil to embark on a tough ride through the Iraq desert to a city we never expected to ride through, Baghdad. Despite extreme heat and endless military checkpoints, we eventually make it and meet with a member of the Iraq biker community. Let the adventures continue. Hello, good to meet you. How are you? 